For centuries, humans have been fascinated by the majestic creatures that roamed the Earth millions of years ago, the dinosaurs. But despite our fascination, there's one question that continues to baffle us. How did these incredible beasts go extinct? The generally accepted theory is that a giant asteroid collided with the Earth, causing widespread devastation and ultimately leading to the demise of the dinosaurs. However, as with many scientific theories, this explanation is not without its doubters. Do you have a better theory? Pause the video and let us know in the comments below. Anyway, some experts have suggested that environmental changes such as changing sea levels and massive volcanic eruptions may have played a role. But now a new scientific paper has been released, providing fresh insights into the extinction of the dinosaurs. In this video, we're going to explore the evidence presented in this exciting new research and get to the bottom of what really happened to these ancient beasts. So buckle up, get ready to travel back in time, and prepare to uncover the truth about the extinction of the dinosaurs. Let's go! A new study sheds light on what killed the dinosaurs. Dino Extinction – The Nuclear Winter One of the most intriguing parts of the theory that an asteroid caused the extinction of dinosaurs is the idea of a nuclear winter. The term is used to describe a catastrophic environmental event that would have occurred as a result of the asteroid impact. When a massive asteroid collided with the Earth, it would have caused a tremendous amount of energy to be released. This energy would have created a huge fireball, sending massive amounts of molten rock and debris into the atmosphere. As this material cooled and fell back to the Earth's surface, it would have caused widespread fires, creating a nuclear winter effect. The term nuclear winter was originally coined in the 1980s to describe the environmental effects of a hypothetical nuclear war. In this scenario, massive amounts of smoke and debris would be released into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and causing global temperatures to plummet. The idea of a nuclear winter caused by an asteroid impact is an intriguing one, but it's also a controversial one. While there's no doubt that the impact would have caused widespread devastation, some scientists have questioned whether it would really have caused a long-term global cooling effect. But recently, scientists have suggested that the onset of a nuclear winter may have been overblown. The scientists argue that while the impact would have caused widespread fires, the amount of smoke and debris released into the atmosphere may not have been enough to cause a long-term cooling effect. The new paper's title is Steady Decline in Mean Annual Temperatures in the first 30,000 years after the Cretaceous Paleogene boundary. And what this particular study does is examine how the temperatures changed in approximately 4,000 years before the collision and 30,000 years after it, specifically focusing on the so-called mean annual temperature, MAT, as measured before and after the collision. I can't wait to know what they found out. Aren't you excited? Keep watching. Dino Measurements the mean annual temperature When you get a fever, you might want to measure your body's temperature from time to time. Thankfully, we invented thermometers, and it's easy to see if we should take some cold pills or if we're just fine. In general, it's easy to measure the temperature of the things around you. You only need a thermometer. A harder task is to be able to measure the average temperature of the Earth. To get a complete picture of Earth's temperature, Scientists combine measurements from the air above land and the ocean surface collected by ships, buoys, and sometimes satellites, too. The temperature at each land and ocean station is compared daily to what is normal for that location in time, typically the long-term average over 30 years. The differences are called anomalies, and they help scientists evaluate how temperature is changing over time. A positive anomaly means the temperature is warmer than the long-term average, and a negative anomaly means it's cooler. Daily anomalies are averaged together over a whole month. These, in turn, are used to work out temperature anomalies from season to season and year to year. So it's relatively easy to measure your body temperature, but much harder to measure the temperature of the Earth as it is during a specific period of time. Therefore, you can imagine how hard it must be to be able to tell what was the mean annual temperature at the time dinosaurs got hit by an asteroid. We'll soon see how scientists made this measurement possible. 
However, let me anticipate what they found. No abrupt post-boundary cooling, like a nuclear winter, or abrupt warming is evident in the analyzed data, implying that if such a phenomenon occurred, their duration was relatively short-lived, i.e. characterized by a sub-millennial timescale. When it comes to measuring the temperature as it was at the time of dinosaurs, scientists can rely on fossils, specifically bacterial fossils that came from coal samples. When they examined such pieces of fossils found in various deposits across Canada, scientists were able to see what sorts of things these ancient bacteria were depositing inside their cells during different periods in history. Specifically, they could see if the bacteria were somehow changing their composition due to temperature changes. For example, certain bacteria located in colder climates often thicken their cell walls during much colder periods, creating a sort of thick blanket around themselves. Although the impact of extreme climate change events on larger animals is well known, the effects on bacterial life are less clear. However, previous studies have suggested that some types of marine deposits in marine life have shown visible changes due to climate change. But what did the fossilized bacteria in these coal samples reveal? Well, the scientists found no evidence that these ancient bacteria were preparing for any kind of winter. In fact, some even showed signs that they were preparing for a warming trend that lasted about 5,000 years. However, this warming trend stabilized relatively quickly. It's important to note that unlike dinosaurs or other complex animals, bacterial life is much more resilient to extreme climate change events. Even if the climate did change drastically, it's unlikely that bacterial life would be completely wiped out. While the scientists couldn't determine if the specific explosion being studied was responsible for the warming trend, they did discover that it was most likely related to it. Whether or not this event influenced the evolutionary path of these ancient bacteria is still up for debate. Hey, are you still there? If you're enjoying this video, comment with the word dino. And don't forget to press the like button. Dino Volcano Eruption Another interesting thing scientists found out studying these bacteria fossils is that not only they didn't seem worried about the coming of any kind of nuclear winter, some of them were actually preparing for some kind of warming period. This preparation trend is estimated to have taken something like 5,000 years. So where does this warming event come from? Probably a volcano eruption. Picture this. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs was like the king of the playground, towering over all the other natural disasters. But it turns out a little guy, a volcano, might have been the real culprit behind the climate change that followed. What our team has discovered is that the warming period that occurred after the asteroid impact wasn't actually caused by the impact at all, but was likely due to a massive volcanic eruption around the same time in India called the Deccan Traps. That's right, the little-known volcano could be the one responsible for wiping out the dinosaurs, not the asteroid. This eruption was no small feat. It was one of the largest volcanic eruptions in history, spewing out enough ash and gases to alter the Earth's climate. The emissions are believed to have changed the temperature and environment enough to be visible in bacteria samples from the time period. That means the impact of the volcano could have been just as, if not more devastating to the Earth than the asteroid. So what were the consequences of this volcanic eruption? Well, it's believed that the massive emissions caused global cooling, acid rain, and a mass extinction event. That's right, not just the dinosaurs, but up to 75% of all species on Earth were wiped out, and because of a little-known volcano in India. But let's not forget about the asteroid. While it may not have directly caused climate change, it still had quite an impact. Did you get the joke? Dino Explanation Talking numbers, when looking at the average temperatures around 66 million years ago, scientists found out that they were ranging between 16 and 29 degrees Celsius. Therefore, we might draw some conclusions about what caused the extinction of the larger dinosaurs during this time period. With no evidence of a nuclear impact resulting from a collision, it's possible that a massive dust cloud resulted from the volcanic activity that caused a general darkening of the planet. This would have killed off most of the larger plants, leading to general starvation for herbivorous dinosaurs, ultimately resulting in the collapse of the food chain. 
It's a relatively fast and brutal demise for these prehistoric creatures. In any case, the exact cause of the extinction of the larger dinosaurs remains a bit of a mystery. But it's clear that something catastrophic happened during this time period, leading to the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. The debate over whether an asteroid impact caused a nuclear winter will undoubtedly continue for many years to come. But one thing is for sure, the study of the extinction of the dinosaurs is a fascinating scientific pursuit that continues to yield new insights and discoveries, even after all these years. It's a reminder that, just like the dinosaurs themselves, scientific knowledge is an ever-evolving entity that always has the potential to surprise us. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. What do you think about the extinction of the dinosaurs? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.